How's the king and fellow Sam Orosh and this is another episode of Borderlands 3 Guns, Love and Tentacles. And in this episode we're going to go to the library, which really reminds me of uh, Jacob's estate. It looks very similar. Except this one is all like white and purple, while Jacob's estate is all brown and garbage. Brown and garbage are my favorite colors, so let's uh, move on. I want to look at these pictures. Because they're surprisingly kind of interesting. Look, there's like a... Who the fuck are these people? This kind of looks like Burton over here. Are those like the town folks before they went insane? I don't know, but this looks surprisingly detailed for some shitty picture in the background of this stage. Look, there's like a, like a fucking cool dude in a fucking jacket with a fucking gun. And this shit like this, what is this? Who is this? This not this isn't even it's not even the villain of the DLC. Just some edgy painting. There's the large Dark as fuck. Who took these pictures? Some idiot. It's just interesting to look at this shit. It's like fucking what was his name? That creepy pasta thing. Can't remember now. Whatever, fucking, I don't care. I see you delving into my past. So, what was I saying? <laughs> this revolver is fucking insane. I swear to God, I don't even think I want to change it. Maybe I'll just stick to this revolver forever. Maybe we'll just change the skins every once in a while to make you think this is a different gun. What was he saying? Uh, I feel like I'm cursed with a fucking memory loss to the sort of guy I can't go to one sentence without forgetting what I was talking about. Quarantine's really pissing me off, I swear to god. I can't go outside, I can't do shit. I never believed I would be this sick of sitting at home. I never was the kind of person that was sitting at home like weeks, you know? A lot of people are like, oh, quarantine? Huh, that's just kind of how I always live my life. It's not really the case for me. Like, yeah, I spent a lot of time playing games, but I'll admit sure that these like, every once in a while go out to do something. You know, sort of got that you just sit and play video games all the fucking time. It's ridiculous. And boring. I feel like without taking breaks from playing games, I'd be just fucking sick. You know, if I only like played, let's say if I was, if I'm always, always well, then maybe, like if I was a streamer, and let's say I actually was like successful, and all I was doing in my life was playing video games, I feel like I would get sick of it. But thankfully, it's not like you know. Like if I was playing one video game over and over, this is why I, I, I remember seeing something when people made fun of the fuck is that? But made fun of Ninja because when he uh, listed his like five favorite games, he didn't even put Fortnite on it. And I can't fucking blame him. I would be sick of that fucking game. My name is Eleanor Olmsted. I always felt like he started playing Fortnite, right? And people just found it popular so he kept playing it but he probably never really liked it that much I don't fucking I don't want to sympathize with him anyway really like him. He sounds like a dick what are the fucking talking about because this is a first person shooter with heavy emphasis on plot Though its body is dead, Believe it or not, <laughs> I'm Ryan, holy shit. This Can you hurry the fuck up? I have a long location ahead of me. Anyway, I'm watching it from the wrong this side. This is the start of a whole new life for us, my darling. Right, right. I don't really Founders, like her haircut. She looks stupid. Eleanor Olmstead. Uh, you'll find more holotapes around the archives. Uh, I'm guessing. Uh, I'll let you, you guessing? handle this bit. That's a good lead. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, I must be stoically <laughs> pensive. What? I don't even know what that means. I don't think I want to know what that means. So we can see these new enemies in here. It's like the the crits. Crits. Anyway, they're like little little lizards. Really annoying because they're hard to hit. 
wizards are so small. You think a wizard wouldn't be wouldn't have the necessary midget? Seems that those are the requirements of becoming a wizard for the cult. You have to be a midget. What a god! I can't fucking hit this stupid idiot. This gets ability to fucking lean my shot. When I was using the shotgun last episode, I was missing most of the fucking time. I'm doing better, way better than I did with my flak. I always thought my flak was like way more powerful than the same. But I don't think that's the case, to be honest. Oh, what the hell? What was my drone flying around me? They're also super annoying to you. I'm saying, oh yeah, that makes Zane is actually the superior character. My flak ain't bad, but it's not really it's not this insanely good. Where I'm running around past the shit, I'm obliterating enemies. I don't even give them a chance to do anything. It's ridiculous. My voice broke for a second. Holy shit. Oh, Jesus Christ, a troll. Ah, uh, it's a chest. Chest. It's a chest. It's a chest, chest, chest. Do, 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 do. Oh my god. Still got a bizarre head. I never like to make fun of people's music taste because. Everyone has different taste in music. I'm, I'm not gonna make fun of you because you listen to country music or anything like that. Because you know, maybe I don't like some of the country songs I heard, but who knows? Maybe you're a fucking specialist in country music and you know actually good ones. And if I would allow you to let me listen to your fucking country music compilation you made or something like that, then I would actually be like, oh man, country music ain't too bad. But when I was in Greece, and I was with the younger classes from my school, I swear to god, they were playing like five songs over and over. And they were all shit. Actually, they weren't all shit, but most of them. Like, at least three of them were shit. Three of those five songs they would keep playing over and over were shit. So that's what fucking... Oh my god, math, mathematics, shit, how many percent is... Three is, what, 75? No. No. I don't fucking calculate it in my head, hold on. 500%, so 3, 300, divided by 5, shit, that's a lot. I got a calculator on me. This method I learned in, uh, I thought it was like percentages and chances in math, because it's just like easy methods to do with where you can do it kind of visually. Well, not the percentages, but the percentages of this method where you type like, like I just said, 5 equals 100%, so 3 equals X percent, and then you type X is like diagonally 3 multiplied by 100 divided by 5. Why is there so many grenades? I just shot the guy. I didn't need so many grenades. I really don't understand these stashes because every single one of them tells him like insults, like the par his parents aren't proud of him. It just makes me question. Is it telling me that like Mancubus is some ab abandoned, abused child? Is that a blank? Whoa. Spooky shit! It's like a 3D one. Oh, cool. Doesn't work. Wait, wait, oh, hello. Look at someone's going. Just a shit by thankfully. This is not a good spot. This how it ends. They put so much effort into yeah. these paintings, I feel like every single one of them has seen so well. I think so far was like unique. Which is funny because most people probably would just go by without even looking at the same painting. There we go, I just found like a 3D one. And 
him could you paint him sick? I'm frozen. That's like a powerful dude. Oh, powerful, aren't you? Aren't you, mate? How many mags in the face will you One hungry motherfucker, I can give you that. I see how my gun heats up. That doesn't mean any- oh shit. That doesn't really mean anything though. Sometimes I'm a Jacob weapon- oh my god, it's my first almost death. So far I was so overpowered, this didn't even happen. I'm running out of my pistol ammo. That sucks. Hmm, the skull seems a little weird. Look at that, secret passage. Anyway, what was I saying? Again? I keep forgetting? I swear to god, I forgot what I was talking about again. Hello, oh, hang skeleton, how long? Got a holotape. Good. Go plug it into the projector. I mean, Go plug you in, to. plug you into a fucking you projector. To this is a chest. I really like the. The, the design that this is some chest that summoned guns from like a different plane of existence. Different dimension. Uh, but you can get the skull masher out of it, and I would really like to get a skull masher because the sniper rifle I'm using on my flak is the head explosion, and it's not the best. I, I will even go as far as to, as to say that it kind of sucks. Because as long as you keep shooting people in the head, it does decent damage. But as long as, but if you just miss once, it's gonna suck. And it, I hate it. It's Richard like sometimes they even shoot them in the head. My beloved has made a fascinating discovery. Go on, tell them, dear. I'm thrilled to report. The I mean, it is called head explosion. I guess I should have expected what the fuck it does. Treasure trove. Precursor alien civilization. There are technological marvels inside that mankind is only And then there are like dreams. another thing that pisses me off about these everything. lessons. Like I had Even more people were saying that this like in English today was supposed to start like one hour ago on Discord. And I went on Discord and it was nothing. Do be careful, my beloved. There are some lines So I don't know. I just I was you sitting here, I had everything turned on, all everything took care of. And I was just okay. I'm gonna sit through this fucking English class, and I'm just gonna start recording afterwards. Find another tape. Again, but, uh, not ordering you around or anything. Just, just trying to help. Yeah, I understand, but I, I like you as a character. You don't need to feel da endangered by me. It's a closed door. Shit. There always is, friend. Well, thankfully, I'm not. See if maybe there's a ventilation shaft or something you could get into. Oh no, Always shit! Follow your hunches, friend. That's what I think I do. What do you think? Sometimes I think about like, what if I just, you know, like sometimes a character in a video game tells you like, tells you like a really good advice, like follow your heart. What if? Fairy. By the power of That's it's a conveniently uh, tall for me sense, by the way. Word? I can't remember. See, I, I lost my memories. There's a cloud of dark fog. You're repeating yourself, boyo. You already told me that bit. I did? You know what? Damn this he has a pretty I'm sad sorry. story. I'm not going to spoil it to you because I know it's See, already. I lost my memories. There's a cloud of... Dark fog! Dark fog! See? Knew what you were gonna say before you said it. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna not go through the whole library in one episode because I'm gonna sit here for this. And it's really. Man, I wonder if this call. This call could just call me on old man. So remember when. Come on, come on! I was. Uh, I would keep saying that 
all the bandits always call me grandpa or old man. I know if you think Zane doesn't even look all that old. Zane just simply looks like he has white hair. Doesn't look like an old person. He has full fucking hair on his head. The concept design when it leaked really did make Zane look old and I thought that he would be Already when the concept design fucking leaked and I was watching like uh, people talk about how Zane's supposed to be the, the class of most skilled, like action skills and he's gonna be the most interesting one. I already back then you know, I was gonna pick him for the last like In Slack, I'd be running around using the same thing over and over, which is insane, I can do things that I'm using over and over but still. It's a little more interesting I'd say. So I didn't even thought that he would have like the funniest dialogue. When when I saw Flag for the first time, I thought that Flag view was gonna be that he's like Pathfinder and and uh, Apex Legends. But he's kind of like a robot that goes around killing people. But he's not aware of like. But he doesn't, I think, understand like death. So he just kind of hits spawn and he says like, "Oh, exciting! I kill people." I didn't thought he would be the, the badass one. And then I had no idea what the hell would the gunner tomorrow gonna be. I still- oh no, I still haven't actually played the game as a monster. I mean I did once, but... But it was only because I started playing with my friend. Oh well. So I hit like a base, like only the beginning of tomorrow. And I was thinking, maybe when I'm gonna finish up the zero. Not the let's play, but me just playing it on my own. Playing it recently. Like I might be close to it. Maybe I'm gonna try and finish this game again, but with my most character. I kind of abandoned her, to be honest. I can reach that level of 40 solve and then just never play this over again. I think I was in Eden 6. When I last played her, who are enemies? I hear a big motherfucker stomping around but I can't see it. That's two big motherfuckers. You know what? The boss fight is coming up next episode. I might actually do it today, I don't know. I didn't want it because it's long and annoying. My saying it's a dick. Good, I might actually just do it very easily. Look, we have to go to this location, get the fucking audio log, and then we have to go through like another location. So I don't know how long I've been here. And I think about it, I could have went through a little bit of this place last episode, and then I could have just. Ah, oh, you guys suck. Eh. Oh, now you're screaming. of you and it just goes into fucking screaming in pain. Well dude you're like a mini boss, you have special moves and shit. Ain't that illegal? There you go, you're dead. This grenade, I swear to god, it's like a good grenade and an evil grenade that always somehow managed to go all the way I do. I'm really hoping to get a small mash at some point. Because it, I'd really like it. But I don't fucking see it anywhere. Did this guy have the thing I was looking for? Yeah, he did. Ah, got another one, did you? If you're feeling curious, head back to the projector. Head back to the what what now? If you're feeling courageous. Head back to the fucking projector. I wilks all cakes. What was this? You heard that? A weird fucking sound? What is this? Wikipedia? Oh, earth. Wait, is this seriously fucking Earth? No, it's not. Is Earth canon in this universe? Research log day 162. To be honest, I never understood why 
supposedly Gearbox is just like in the. F I mean, why Borderlands is like in the future? And it's supposed to be our world? In my opinion, it'd be better if they just simply said that all Borderlands takes place in. It doesn't take place in our world. Because like, it has sirens, fucking Iridians, a bunch of like weird sci fi shit, and fantasy shit. So, why would you try to somehow manage? I mean, somehow try to be like, oh, it's just our world. I mean, if Destiny tries to pull that shit off, I don't know. It sucks like dick anyway. Why would you play Destiny if you play this? Maybe because Destiny's an MMO and it's not at all all that similar to Borderlands. Or from gameplay, maybe. That's fine that you get like randomized guns that are boring as shit. The Borderlands 1 guns. I always hate that about Borderlands 1. Guns might be different all from each other, but they fucking feel the same anyway. One might be faster, one might be fucking slower. You notice how all the enemies before they die they have enough willpower to tell me shit. No, you were dead before I knew it. Not very spooky, mate. Or small motherfuckers at the wars do. Matrix is reloaded. Fuck. He reminds me of these pirate enemies from Captain Charles DLC because there were enemies with these giant mines on their hands. These guys look similar to this mine on their hands. I got two enemies, I don't really feel like wasting my specials. Alright, I have more enemies in common. Gratitude. You know what's on eternal to You sure got her blood up. You must be close to something. The founders had an office just beyond the archives. I've got a hunch there's something of interest in there. And I always follow my hunches, most likely. Yeah, and I know now I gotta follow your hunches too. Why do you have to show up? I hate you. You know what the worst thing about the boss we're about to fight? I think maybe if I'm killing it, we could fight it. I'm gonna check the timer if I have enough time to fight the boss guy. The worst thing about it is that he has a moment at the end of his fight where he makes... There's a bunch of those these guys running around. It's not these guys, not this guy in particular, but the, 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 the generic cultist troops. Would not die again! He just makes one invincible at random. And he's the worst if you want to avoid him. And he'll just fuck you up because he's There's invincible. Got to be something here, something real. Destructing implosion drives, new use stations, half measures propped on the crutch of science. Who's Mark? The laws of this world are a prison, and somewhere in this library is the. Oh, excuse me, may I ask what it is you're reading? Hmm? Oh, um, Zwelker's Heresies of Glass. What? I thought all copies of Swelker's heresies were destroyed in a tragic hot dog eating contest accident. Hot dog eating contest? It's true that reading it shows you how you're going to die. I don't know. I haven't finished it. You can borrow it when I'm done, though. You must be new here. I'm Celeste. I'm Markov, warlock aspirant of the Ariad Choir, seventh scion of the... You know what? Just call me Mark. And, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm new. Nice to meet you, Mark. What brings you into town? I'm looking for magic. Why are they talking about it? Who is Mark? It's not, these people aren't even fucking important to the story. It's not like I'm getting inside of backstory of some fucking characters that are important for the fucking DLC. Who the hell is Mark? Marky Mark? Is it Marky Poo? No, the fucking the last time I actually fucking watched Mark and say. You know what? It might have been. Five Nights at Fuck Boy. That was the fucking RPG maker. That was like the only RPG maker game I ever gave a shit about. I thought they were the funniest shit ever. The Inhale My Dawn. That was the best. 
You know, I got. I had to admit that by the first fucking game, all the heritage thing and hate my dog is gonna get old. It was funny the first time around when Freddy was keep feeding it, but, but after like the fucking I don't know, how the five nights the fuck was came out, but they eventually get kind of annoying. My I'm not sure if the day shift at the Freddy's on out of ammo forever. Oh shit, that's not good. I don't want to be forced to use the shotgun again, it sucks. Maybe I stand fucking still, I swear to god. I'm a console player, stand still. I can't aim for shit. Oh, I meant to throw it at you, what the fuck, it didn't work. Maybe if I come close to them and like make because you see when the it's gonna shoot, it has like a lot of this like wave. Maybe if I get close to them and I shoot, then all of them reach and I do massive damage. I am doing a lot of damage. I'm not sure what to do. So I'm not sure if the guy who made Five Nights Fox Boys is also the guy who made they shipped with Freddy. That was another really funny. I don't know. I think it's an RPG Maker game. And like, I guess it's nice to see that Snap fucking fandom still is existing. I see that fucking resurface of like people just admitting that they like Snap and talking about its lore and stuff. Like, what, how on earth the fuck the man behind the slaughter became a meme? And people dressed in purple shirts. Share my I was still up all this fucking time back in 2014, I wasted in watching nothing. people making theories about Snap. Was not wasted all of a sudden. All of the problem. The funny thing is, I never played a Snap game. As much as I like the, the complicated plot, it kind of makes it sense in a way. I don't really like the gameplay. I think it's cool. Like if maybe you would walk around, there's not like a snap or when you just kind of walk around all of them. Maybe if you walked around like a full facility, that would be more interesting. I've heard snap VR is really good though. I don't know, it's called? I think it's a help wanted. And there's like a new fucking snap game. Who knows if you'll actually be interested in those. I, I remember that they are. I think they are on PS4. If I ever felt like given a chance at snap, I guess I could. Maybe there would be three on PS Plus and I would kind of record them. That would have been, been cool. So far, whole year of 2020 was really good for PS Plus. Oh shit, I'm dying. This is unacceptable. You have to give me your uh, sacrifice. Dude, look, listen. Oh shit, I was close. Guide, I'm cool. You can understand? And I wonder what uh, April is gonna hold for us. I guess a lot of people do since it. You know, I can't play online because of it. I was gonna do a fucking special. I mean, bonus episode of Crash, because I figured out. Oh, I could just simply do a special. And even though there's no new stages, I could have done a special while I play online. So I would play five fucking races like I did in every bonus episode. And then I would have just simply. Oh, you fucking asshole. I would play five stages like in every bonus episode, but in online and maybe play as multiple characters instead of just one. So we gotta unlock the lap system. Baby characters are shit, so I don't wanna even I don't even wanna look at them. Let her play as one. 
I'm out of ammo for everything. On my flak, I used a really cool shotgun. It's like the, uh, it's like the only shotgun, like the only legendary Jacob shotgun that has a high magazine size. And the reason it has a high magazine size is because it drains through that fucking magazine size at like a couple of mags. It's really annoying, actually. I'm still in the room full of enemies, and I got like one more mag in my fucking gun. Thankfully, my drones and clones aren't running out of fucking anything. Man, it's tougher to kill. I feel like everyone's pretty easy so far. I remember how. So when I was playing Borderlands uh, 2, right? I was playing it normal. So by the time I finished like the first DLC, which I first one I did was some analog, I wanted to go in order from the shittiest one to the coolest one. So I went to Hamalog with the torque and the scarlet and then how do. But anyway, and by the time I finished uh, the first DLC. I was pretty much really high level for normal mode. So when I got to like Captain Strong's DLC, enemies and bosses were like super pathetic. I didn't have absolutely no problems. I think I killed myself on purpose. Because I needed I wanted to see my characters respawn so I could like a screenshot of them. And that's seriously what I did. And I'm using a sniper rifle as a shotgun right now, so I ran out of ammo for anything else. That's great. I gotta, look I gotta look around. I gotta find these interdimensional chests. I heard that they're the only ones that give you fucking Skull Masher. I gotta fucking have Skull Masher, dude. I used to use Skull Masher on my Zero in Borderlands 2. Even though I didn't like Zero in Borderlands 2, to be honest. I didn't like Zero in Maya. Everyone else I did. Salvador I didn't like at the beginning, but then I kinda. I don't like him. Oh, I see how the shotgun works. It's like, oh, it's the same thing. It has like a like a spread, like it's just a couple of bullets at the same time. You know what? I wish I could at least know where these grenades are gonna shoot out of me because then I could plan it accordingly. But they just fucking come out at random, and I can't fucking plan ahead. Oh, it seems like it's fucking also uses three bullets per shot, that's not good. That's probably why I ran out of all my ammo so quick. This one uses two bullets per shot, that one sniper I can use three. I hate weapons that use multiple ammo per shot, I never used it for the last two. All my people super good. Like, uh, what's it called? That mana one rocket launcher that was legendary. I don't remember. Oh, shit, I have no, I have nothing. And I gotta make it to a vending machine. Get you know what, I'm just gonna leave. Take good care of him. And there we go, we're in front of the boss fight. I think I'm gonna finish the episode here since it was kinda long. We got weapons, we got the uh, sniper. Not sure what that is, but, but it's really good, so I, can't, I got a hand. Even if I ain't gonna use it ever. I got a hand. I'm a collector. Special collector. Surge? How she blows. If I mentioned I'm a collector, I collect items. I don't need them, 
but I want them. Nobody else besides me can have them. Guns all reloaded. Pretty much ready for the boss fight. Ain't gonna do it. Let's do it next episode, because I'm sick of it. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.